Today, Hoax said he believes Castor is far and away the best person to take his place. I'm going to make a prediction here today, and that is that Jane Castor, at the end of her tenure, is going to be recognized as the best police chief this city has ever had. Chief Hoag's official last day on the job will be on September 30th. Castor is acting chief right now and will be confirmed by the Tampa City Council on October 1st. The new chief is a Tampa native. She went to high school and college here. Our Serena Fazan spoke one-on-one -on -one with Castor and the two women who helped shape who she is today. Even three decades ago, Tampa's incoming police chief was hailed a leader. Jane Castor's athletic accomplishments were often publicized. Sitting down with me, Tampa's new chief says she learned all of life skills on the court. You learn fair play, you learn how to win, how to lose, teamwork, all of those things that are necessary in life. And she credits these two women for largely shaping her life, her high school and college coaches. She was great. Uh, and I, she's very positive person. Good role model. Good role model. I met with former Chamberlain High School coach Jean Tinnen and former UT coach Betty Lambert. Betty, you know, she says that she didn't have money to go to college, came from a large family, and if you are the one that had such a pivotal impact in her life, how would you respond? Oh my God, maybe I did something right. Maybe, you know, I was able to help somebody achieve her goal. Jean, why do you have tears in your eyes? <laughs> oh God. Uh, she was on the first starting team of the Hillsborough County basketball program. And I think she was just a leader and did everything for us. And I really appreciate everything she's done and I know she'll be a great leader for Tampa. Castor has always been a woman of first, not just in high school. She was one of the first ever females recruited for a college scholarship, was the first female president of her police academy class, and now the first ever female Tampa police chief. Castor's message to young women. There is no ceiling anymore. You can do anything you want. Those doors are open. If they're not open, open them yourself and go through. Remarkable. And just to signify how remarkable this is currently, there are only two female police chiefs in cities as large as Tampa throughout the nation. Soon, Jane Castor will join those ranks. Reporting live from CPD, I'm Serena Fazan for ABC Action.